South Korean President Park Geun-hye is facing one of her biggest crises since taking office in 2013. On Saturday, thousands of protesters called for her to step down. The public outrage came after Park admitted last week that she had sought the advice of a longtime friend, Choi soon shi when drafting speeches. A South Korean broadcaster has alleged Choi, who has no position in government, was also given access to confidential government documents. Choi denied accessing material other than the speeches. Park offered a public apology Tuesday for sharing her speeches with Choi. Choi soon shi is in the past, when I was in the past, I was in the two women have been friends for more than 40 years through Choi's father, who created a religious cult and was close to Park's father, former South Korean President Park Chung-hee. The cult connection in Choi's family has increased public suspicions over motives. At the weekend protest, some wore masks of Choi and Park and mimicked the actions of a puppeteer. Others held signs and chanted slogans such as, who's the real president? Park's public approval ratings have plummeted to historical lows. She hasn't spoken about the case publicly since apologizing last week but accepted the resignation of five of her senior staff in a show of contrition. Prosecutors are also investigating Choi for possible corruption at two charitable foundations. She went to Germany shortly before the scandal broke out and returned to Seoul on Sunday. Choi talked to the prosecutors Monday afternoon.